All right, today we're gonna add a custom drag and drop footer using Weebly. Uh, so here we are at Weebly.com, um, and we're also going to be using WeeblyForums.com. I'll have the full link below. So it's Weebly Forums and the Weebly Flexible Footer Create Drag and Drop. Uh, anyway, so you can of course sign up, but today we're gonna be logging in. Uh, we're going to use jsmith at averagestudentdesigns.com and of course password and login so here we are again at john smith's website we're going to edit the website all right, now if you'll notice down at the bottom on every free Weebly site, it says create a free website with Weebly. Now that doesn't look very professional. So what we like to do is you can either, okay, so you can go to Pro. Um, that costs money here, I'll show you. Ooh, look at me, pay for all my features, $47 for a year. No, thank you. All right. So I'm going to go into the design mode. Now this is the first time I'm showing you guys the design mode. And we're going to edit the HTML and CSS. So right now you're looking at the main style CSS. Uh, on this bar over on the left hand side, you see all these pictures over here. Those are all the pictures that Weebly uses. Um, you also have different page layouts, tall header, short header, no header, landing page, but we're going to be using the main style CSS right now. So I'm looking for the footer tag that this Weebly theme uses. And it looks like they use the footer wrap tag. So it says footer wrap or footer wrap dot container. And we have to figure out which one is the one that controls the words. So I'm going to click into here under footer wrap. I'm going to add a line. I'm going to type in visibility, V I S I B I L I T Y, colon, hidden, H I D D E N, semicolon. Now down at the bottom, you have a preview, and we're going to scroll down on our preview. And look, the entire bottom border is gone. All right, so we need to get rid of this. And instead of it being under the footer wrap, um, we'll put it under the container. So again, visibility, colon, hidden semicolon and voila it's gone so now that we have the advertisement at the bottom of your page gone we're going to be adding the CSS part of the footer you're going to go to Weebly forums scroll down until you see the create a style definition for your footer and then you're just going to copy the CSS code by control copy. Go back over to Weebly. Now somewhere near the footer area is where you're going to want to add this flexi footer content. Now what I like to do is I like to go through and find out exactly what Weebly already has set up so that everything can look similar if not exactly the same. So I'm going to copy everything except for the visibility hidden and I'm going to change it on the flexi footers CSS. Uh, CSS is the style sheet by the way for those that don't know and this is what actually adds the style to the HTML. So I'm just going to look around and see if there's a little bit more CSS that I can add to here. Um, let's see. 
All right, now we're going to go into the tall header, which is the page that we're working with. You can tell that by your pages tab um, when you add or, or subtract pages. Now you see here where it says footer wrap, that looks a little bit familiar because we are just next to the footer wrap in the CSS. So we're going to go back over here to the Weebly forums. We're going to scroll down to modify the HTML area. Um, it's going to be step two and then you can control copy between the div tags, that's div, and go back over to Weebly and we need to find the proper place to paste this so that it will show up in the right area. So we'll start by pasting it here before the container and we're going to scroll down on the preview to see where it ended up. So you see this little box right here, that is our flexi footer. And right now it is sitting in a very, very awkward area, so we're going to move that. And we're going to put it after the container. Now you have to make sure to, to go past the closing div tag of the container. That would be the div tag that has the slash div in front of it. And now you can see the container down here at the bottom of your screen. the CSS so that we can get rid of that little boxy looking background because um, it just doesn't look that great so we're gonna see what Weebly has already used to get rid of an ugly background um, here they have a different background uh, it's a URL uh, we're gonna look for something that already has a color or just says none All right, background none. So Weebly likes to change up whatever backgrounds that they like to use, whether it's going to be pictures or whatnot. This time they decided to use background none. And we're just copying and pasting to get rid of our ugly background color. And the background color is gone. So we're going to save this. So again, here's our, our div tag, and we're going to save this. I'm going to save it as my theme, save, and we're going to scroll down, and let's click the elements, and we'll drag a title element. Ooh, that's, that's not centered, so this is the footer area but it's stuck on the left side dun 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 so there is a a very easy way to fix this and that's just adjusting the CSS again design edit HTML CSS so that the width is around a hundred percent so uh, again we're back over into the main style CSS flexi footer now you see right here on the main footer wrap it shows the width at a hundred percent so maybe we should just stick with that type in width 100 percent colon sorry semicolon save and then we'll scroll down and we can go back into the box that we just dragged and we'll center it hooray it's not stuck anymore 
and we'll give it a new color so that it's bright. So you can also add links to the footer. So I'm going to highlight footer, go to the top and you'll see the image for a link. You click it and it brings you up a pop-up where you can edit a URL. So you can link to any site. You can also open it in a new window, clicking this box up here. Or not. So I don't actually want the link to open up anywhere. So I'm just going to click save. And then now you can see that when you hover over the word footer, it changes color to show that it's a link. Now I'm just going to remove this link. All I did was highlight it. You can change it, remove it, or go to it. And now we have a footer. So I'm going to click publish and let's go to our site. Now I'm going to scroll down to the bottom and this is the footer area and it's not stuck. Go up to the top, we're going to click another page, click the empty about us page and look your footer appears on every single one of your pages. Go into contact and last footer.